Hey everybody, this is <clears throat> Daddy Daughter Reading Time, and we haven't been on for a couple nights, but this is Chapter 2 of the Boxcar Children, okay, by Gertrude Chandler Warner, yeah. and Gracie will be reading. We are on Chapter 2 for everybody that's been keeping up. Okay, so anyway, we just got done playing tag, and I kicked her. I'm so she. I'm still mad about the pumpkin trick. I with the basketball trick. She not have pumpkins it. around. <laughs> okay, we're gonna read the book now. Ready? So no. you gotta start off with reading the title of the chapter. No, for, we had to get them restarted about what happened right there. Okay. They worked. They wanted to stay at this late at the at the um, bakery. Bakery. And this lady, and they said that they were going to help her clean the dishes when they wake up for some bread, and they for it to, to spend the night. And they paid for a loaf of bread. And anyways, they heard, um, they heard, they heard her talking about the, the good job. This Slow one, down. You're doing good. Slow down. Um, I the little boy you're going to put in the foster coat. Mm -hmm. They were going to keep the older ones to work, and the little one they were going to basically take away from them. So in order for them to all stay together, they ran away from the bakery, and now they're on the run. So let's go get started. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Right, here we go. Three. Soon the children left the town and came to the road. The big yellow moon was out, and they could see the road very well we must walk fast said henry i hope the baker the baker it and his and his wife don't wake up and find us gone they walked down the road as fast as they could how far can you carry benny asked violet Oh, I can carry him a long way, replied Henry. But Jessica said, Jessie. "I, Jesse said, I think we could go faster if we walked him, woke. woke him up now. We could take his hand and help him along. Henry stopped and put Benny down. Come, Benny, he said, you must wake up and walk now go away said Betty let me let me try said Violet now Betty you can play you can play that that you are put your finger down this way so you know where you're at you are a little brown bear Good. and are running away to find a nice warm bed Henry Henry and Jesse will help you and will find a bed. Good. <clears throat> Benny liked beginning being a little brown bear and so he woke up and opened his eyes. Henry and Jessica took his hand and they and they all went on again. They passed some farm houses but the horse houses the houses were dark and quiet the children did not see anyone they walked and walked for a long time then the the red sun began to come up we must find a place to sleep said jesse i am so tired i am so tired little benny was was sleeping, was asleep, and Henry was crying. Spike, no. Ca carrying no. him again. The other children began to look for a place at last. Violet said, look over there. She was pointing at a big haystack on a field near a farmhouse. A fine place, Violet said. Henry, see what a big haystack it is. They ran across the field towards the farm house. They jumped over the brook, 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 here. brook, and then they came to a haystack. Henry.